in this video i will explain you how you can use these configuration elements in jmeter so when you add the scenario using thread groups you can add the configuration elements uh, in that thread group so just right click and then click on add and then over there you will find this config element menu and uh, on the right hand side you can see there is a header manager cookie manager cache manager request defaults and csv data set config so these are frequently used configuration elements that you can use in your tests so let us uh, see what is the purpose of this header manager cookie manager and request defaults in this section so if you want to add any of that just click on this and then that will be added onto your plan so you can see here i have already added these configuration elements so let us try to understand the significance or importance of each of these configuration element first one is http request defaults so basically what we are uh, setting here is the default values for your requests so whenever uh, you are testing any web server the url or the main server uh, domain remains same so you can put that default uh, server name over there and that server name will be used in all the requests that you are going to send then protocol is also it is not going to change so you can put it here and that protocol will be used for all the requests in your jmeter test suite again the port number is uh, you can specify there by default 80 port uh, port 80 will be used if you are using http protocol if you are using https 443 port number will be used by default but in case your server is running on different port then you can specify that port number there you can also specify the default path for your all the requests but i generally keep it empty because for each request i want to hit different paths so you can keep that empty content encoding also can be kept empty but in case your encoding is in different format other than the utf8 then you can specify it there then all the requests if you want to send some parameters or body data then uh, that can be set here i generally do not set uh, these parameters and body data in the request default because for each request i want to set it separately so that is about request defaults as the name indicates all it is doing is uh, we are setting the default values for uh, certain parameters like web server then path port number etc now let us move on to cookie manager so the uh, purpose of cookie manager is to send the cookies to the server and also whenever server sends back the cookies what we want to do is in the subsequent request again from the client side we want to send the same cookies that uh, server sent us we want to send the same cookies back to the server again so if you add the cookie manager that process of handling the cookies is done by jmeter automatically you don't have to set manually you only need to set the cookies manually if you want to add extra cookies uh, in the requests but otherwise if you add the cookie manager all the cookies sent by the server to the client will be sent back to the server again because whenever uh, you are using this uh, suppose uh, session cookies then uh, the session cookies are very important to maintain the session and uh, in that case this uh, cookie manager is very useful so in case your application is using cookies you can ask developers if your application is using cookies then you should add this http cookie manager in your scenarios and there is a cookie policy policy as well which i keep as a standard or you can also ignore the cookies if you want clear cookies after each iteration if you want to uh, clear the cookies that options are also available then header manager is basically used to send the header so whenever you send the request http request uh, from client to the server what happens is that some headers are also sent and here this is the place where you can set those headers for example if you want to send request with this header say user agent say mozilla then accept headers values text html application xhtml xml then accept language is this one and then accept encoding is this one so basically these headers will be sent to the server from client and if you want to add uh, another uh, headers you can just click on add and then give the header name there and then the value there so that is how you can add the headers so basically what's happening is that all the requests that you will be adding as you can see here these three requests i'm sending to the server later on and in all those requests what will happen is that those headers will be sent automatically so i'm gonna also show you with example how this works so here is a home page and you can see here there is no header manager what we have done is uh, in this header manager we have set those four headers 
but when we execute this test what happens is that these headers will be sent in this request so i'm gonna execute this test plan and then i will show you how these headers are sent so i just execute it and home page is failing because of expert ex assertion so we can ignore that right now but if you look at this home page request or response thing in the request headers you can see this user agent accept language all these things are being sent and these values are being picked up from header manager and same way in the cookie manager uh, those values will be sent if you set any cookie here that cookie will be sent in these requests and that uh, you can see in the view results tree so view results tree is basically uh, is used when you when you want to view the actual requests that are sent to the server so you can add it by just right clicking and then clicking on add and then there is one button called as listener view results tree so all the requests logs will be uh, displayed there you can uh, see the headers in the actual request and also the response body as well as the response headers so that's it in this video if you have more questions let me know through the comments thanks for watching this video